I'll see President Bush. When I was in Houston, we went to lunch, I'll ask him questions. Um, and sometimes it'll just be a, a tiny question. One time I asked him, um, I had heard the story that Ronald Reagan during his last moments in, in the Oval Office wrote a note, put it in the president's desk, and left it for George Bush Sr. And then when he left, he left a note for Clinton, and Clinton left one for W, and W left one for Obama. It's the greatest private tradition of the modern presidency. And I was obsessed with this, because I wanted to know in my thrillers, could you actually hide notes now, and could they you know, move information that way? So I wrote to President Bush, and I have his email. He has actually the best email address of all time. It's like, uh, I'm not going to tell you, because then they'll kill me. Um, but what they do is, I wrote him and asked him, uh, could you move information like that president to president? And he sends me back, and no one has ever seen it. He sent me back the, the letter that he left for President Clinton in the Oval Office desk. And my first thought is, oh my gosh, he sent me a secret code. So I'm like, look, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm checking to see if it's like a Freemason code, if the third letter of every word spells out, I hate you, Bill. I'm like, what is in this thing? Um, and the truth was, it was just a completely generous, amazing letter. But he said, you can have it, you can reveal it to the world. And he let us release it for the first time, which was, again, just a, this amazing little moment.